First thing I wanted to say before I started uh, recording this video, uh, I finally measured out this room. There's plenty of room uh, lengthwise, but the width is only 11 feet wide. This tent is 10 foot wide. <laughs> Why did I just wait to the 99th hour to measure? Because that's how I roll. I just roll like that, whatever. So anyhow, I haven't even seen the uh, instruction book for this thing, but there's all kinds of like Y's, X's, and T's, and um, all of these pipes, or whatever, not pipes, but uh, whatever the hell they're called. Um, they're all uh, marked with like one, two, three, four, five. So hopefully it's super easy. The um, exterior is really heavy, so I don't see how I'm getting that done myself, but uh, we'll see. We'll just work it out. So, okay, just keep watching for a little bit and I will report back shortly. Okay, so call me crazy, but this bitch did not come with any directions. Where is a man when you need one? I checked the box. Oh my god, I'm spitting out my gum. <laughs> I checked the box out there. I'm so upset I like spit out my gum. Um, checked the box, nothing. Checked all these things, nothing. Not even a thank you for your order. I don't even remember what the hell the name of this tin is, so I'm going to have to go on Amazon, look that up. Go to the company's website, either call them or see if there's a PDF for putting this together. Because I don't know what the hell to do with all this stuff. Um, so far, this review, or whatever you want to call it, it's not going well. So, um, I'm, I'm going to take some, you know, woosa moments here. Woosa breaths. Woosa. And I'm going to come back with you guys. Okay. Okay, so I'm back. I like triple checked everything. I triple checked the box, no instructions. So I went on Amazon. This thing has four and a half out of five stars. There's like 60 something reviews. Um, there were even one review said, oh, the instructions are horrible. You're gonna have to figure it out yourself. One guy said uh, he didn't even need the instructions. It was so easy to set up. He was only setting up a two by two though. So whatever. Um, I had to contact the shipper because I can't even find the, the name of the tent is a top top light or topo light um, hydro tent couldn't find them anywhere on Google so um, the tent itself was sold from LED light China even though it's not in China it's in Maryland and somewhere else whatever um, so I had to send them an email through Amazon and they said it could take up to two business days to get a freaking response so I'm like you got to be kidding me. You got you got to be kidding me. And uh, I don't even see where the holes are yet. I mean, this thing is like huge. So the only thing I can do right now is basically to make some snow angels on this thing. Okay, that's all I can do. I'm going to swim in it. Uh, why? Okay, just a quick update. I just wanted to show you that uh, I finally have the uh, floor framed out, and, which is awesome. Hi, Jack. Um, so I had to use basically every kind of tall thing in this room to drape um, some of this fabric over the sides, just figuring out what was the bottom, what was the top, what was the front, et cetera, et cetera. That literally took me about two hours. Um, it, it was just, there's so much material for this small amount of space that I, I just couldn't figure it out. Um, so, uh, anyhow, yeah, that took a long time and I finally wound up using duct tape. Once I figured out something, then I would stick it on there, um, to label it correctly. And just kept doing that until I figured out this damn puzzle. So, now that I figured that out, the actual pieces, like the, um, all the... God, what is it? Not pipe. I don't, I keep screwing up what that is. But anyways, that's going along, um, the framing, all that's going along much, much, much better. So, all right, the next um, video clip, it should be finished, hopefully. 
Okay, so I'm back. It's actually tomorrow. Um, I just had to take my kids to school yesterday when I figured out the bottom of the frame. So um, from figuring out the bottom of the frame and you know where exactly all the fabric um, would lie, it literally took, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes to have the entire frame set up. So as you can see, it's really, really simple. It's just kind of click, lock in place kind of situation. Um, here's the top. Um, looks like it should be pretty sturdy. Um, I'm probably going to have the only grow room that actually has a chandelier uh, in the room. <laughs> oh well, again, that's how I roll. So, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to show you the frame before I actually put the cover on. So I will check back with you and uh, let you know how hard or easy it is to put the cover on. This is about 20 minutes later and I'm finally done. Um, honestly, the hardest part for me in all this was getting the fabric, um, specifically the top um, of the cube getting that over um, by myself. If there were two people, it would have been totally fine. Um, but I just wanted to show you this. Um, these are two doors. There's one here that I'm holding and then there's another one on the right um, that you can go in. They zip down. The only thing I don't like about this is that um, when you go inside, there's no inner zip. So like you could get zipped up in there basically. Um, I could be wrong, but I've, I checked and I just didn't see one. Um, let me open this up. So there's my sticky, or not my sticky, my duct tape. Oops. So sorry for the uh, picture quality there. Um, anyways, there are these uh, green like look through windows. So if you wanted to see in there without opening the doors, you could. I'm gonna get as much light in here. So I'm gonna have some LED lights in here in the future, but for right now it's really dark. Um, you can see on the bottom, all those kind of white looking things, they're all vents to let some extra air in. Um, and then there's a lot of um, pockets that you can either open or close for ventilation for ducts and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so the last thing, uh, I love the floor. It's still made out of this Mylar material, but there's also some um, black material sorry, here um, that will go down on the bottom um, which I'll do just to make it extra kind of waterproof. Um, I like this material though so that as it gets gross I can just hose it down and uh, shop back it out um, and uh, yeah it should be pretty easy to clean. One thing hopefully you can see it actually you're probably not going to be able to if I go in without holding onto this door. One thing is uh, there's two small little holes I mean they're like maybe the size of an eraser or less uh, like an eraser on the bottom of a pencil but uh, two small holes, either they might have been there or I might have made them with my, uh, my little step stool, kind of getting to the top, I'm not sure. I would really rather them not be there obviously, but what I'm gonna do is just take some duct tape to the top of it um, and then you know put that flooring material on top and just hope that it kind of seals it somewhat. But uh, fingers crossed on that one. But yeah, so this is it. Um, don't have much space. <laughs> this is how much I have uh, space on this side. Not so much. And then here's my window side. I've got even less space over there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do my uh, my duck work, my duck coming uh, out of there through this window. So that'll be another video. But for now, I am a very happy girl. Okay, so this is the end of my video on setting up my fruiting chamber. I hope it's been helpful. We'll see if it actually works, but uh, I'm sure I'll do a video over the next couple of weeks to see if it's actually functional. Um, I hope it is. It seems like it's going to be, but um, we will see. Probably the next video I do is going to be on actually setting up all the equipment and everything to get ready for uh, the mushrooms that I have incubating right now, or the blocks I should say that are incubating. So anyway, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe if, uh, if you want to see more. Take care. Thank you.